Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review. Today we're going to be listening to Lucky by Halsey. And Halsey is going to be a different vibe for this channel because usually I listen to or I react to a lot of rock, a lot of metal, and I love the rock and metal stuff, but I do like a lot of pop songs too. And I've said this before that metal and heavier stuff is kind of a more recent thing for me, like the past few years. But pop is what I listened to a lot when I was younger. And an artist that I listened to a lot when I was younger is Britney Spears. She was my queen. And my husband was actually watching Fantan Anthony Fantano here on YouTube um, just yesterday. And he talked about this song. And I don't remember what exactly he said about it, if I'm being honest. But he said it wasn't terrible. And lucky if you don't know that was a britney spears song so i don't know if this is like a cover of it if it's her own spin on it um just all around but we will find out together so without further ado let's pop our headphones on turn it up here we go Cover. Too high. Does it all just to be like my strangers that she met online? Did it all to be included? Myself loathing so deep rooted in a child's unrecruited truth that I'm not suited for it. When I die, I won't have time to spend my money, but I hope that you still love me. That tune. Cause I'm so lucky. We'll I'm come back star, to it. about this yet though not yet and why she losing so much weight i heard it's from the drugs she ate and i feel her but i can't relate because i've never end up in that state a girl like that is a mother must be tough problem child i was rough but what do you do with the difficult grown up when i die Trying to pay attention to the lyrics too. I'm so lucky. I'm a star, but I cry, cry, cry. I'm not sure I like the chorus with the rest of the song. So I'm trying to figure out. Shave my head four times because I wanted to. And then I did it one more time because I got sick. And I thought I'd change so much, nobody will notice it, you know what I'm Then I left the doctor's office for the tears. No, no. Became a single mom at my premiere. And I told everybody I was fine for a whole damn year. Now I feel bad That's for criticizing the, the chorus. Of my career. Hmm. 
have a lot of thoughts. But the... I shaved my head four times because I wanted to, and then I did it one more time because I got sick. I thought I'd changed so much nobody would notice it, and no one did. And then I left the doctor's office full of tears, became a single mom at my premiere, and I told everybody I was fine for a whole damn year. That's the biggest lie of my career. <sighs> this song just makes me sad. The Britney version did not make me sad. <laughs> um, so with that being said, I feel like the song, I, I mean, how do you, how do you like criticize a song when it's about, when it's something personal, I'm assuming to her. I know she had health issues. Um, let, hold on. Let me look something up before I say this. Yes, she does have ehlers Danlos syndrome and POTS, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I, that caught my attention before because I have those things. Um, but it says here, a new album, a new song and a medical diagnosis. The singer Halsey took to social media to announce them all. The singer announced on Wednesday, this was, this was um, a New York Times article. I'll link it below. This was from June 4th, 2024. But it says a singer announced on Wednesday that they had been diagnosed in 2022 with lupus and a rare T-cell. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Lymphoproliferative disorder. I'm sorry, I probably got that wrong. Halsey said both conditions are currently being managed or are in remission, and both of which I will likely have for the duration of my life. It came a day after Halsey shared a post on Instagram featuring a series of videos that appear to document the singer receiving infusions. Halsey wrote, long story short, I'm lucky to be alive. The post continued, short story long, I wrote an album. It begins with the end out now. Huh. Okay, just because I'm interested in this here, I'm, I'm going to read this. Hopefully you guys are interested in learning about this song too. I hope that's why you're here. It says, in the first of the videos, Halsey29 sits on a couch while rubbing their legs in apparent pain. I feel like an old lady, they said, adding, I told myself I'm giving myself two more years to be sick. In their newest post, Halsey wrote, after a rocky start, I slowly got everything under control with the help of amazing doctors. They added, after two years, I'm feeling better and I'm more grateful than ever to have music to return to. I can't wait to get back where I belong with you all, singing and screaming my heart out. The singer said on Instagram that they were giving themselves two more years to be sick and then at 30, I'm having a rebirth and I'm not going to be sick and I'm going to look super hot and have lots of energy and I'm just going to get to redo my 20s and my 30s. I love that. And I hope that they get to do that. So... Like I said, as somebody that shares some of those conditions and struggles a lot with health issues, I like the song. I appreciate them being open and honest and vulnerable about that because that is not easy to do. So I'm not criticizing any part of that. A young girl that grew up listening to Britney Spears's lucky the original um which i will find that link up below just in case there's younger people watching this that haven't heard it definitely check it out it's a really good song um that one it it you know the chorus of that lucky to me is much better than the chorus of this lucky and i feel terrible saying it after all the things that i just read but i'm being honest here i understand them saying that they're lucky to be alive and that they're lucky that they have music to come back to after dealing with the health struggles. 100% that makes sense. But I feel like the chorus doesn't really make sense with everything else in the song. I feel like they're talking about all this stuff, losing weight, having to shave your head, dealing with doctors. But then with the chorus, I'm so lucky... I'm a star, but I cry, cry, cry in my lonely heart thinking if there's nothing missing in my life, then why do these tears come at night? Everything else that you're saying in the song is why the tears are coming at night. The chorus doesn't really make sense with the rest of the song to me. I don't know. Does, does anybody else feel that way? 
because everything else about the song, like I said, being open and vulnerable about such serious topics, I think is a beautiful thing, but I don't think that the chorus matches up with the rest of the song. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to figure out in my mind how that how that works. Because in the original, like Britney Spears, it focuses more on her being a celebrity and, you know, everything's perfect. And that's what you're seeing. And she's all dressed up and you don't really see behind the scenes when she's sad and what she might be feeling other than the glitz and the glam of being a singer, you know. But... In this case, you do hear all that. You do hear all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. So the lucky thing, or why why do the tears come at night line doesn't really make sense because you're, you're showing, you're telling us why there are tears and it's very valid reasons that the tears are coming. So yeah, this one just confused me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the the lyrics and the chorus I don't know yeah interesting song otherwise and I feel for Halsey I really really do but I don't think the lucky chorus was a good matchup for the lyrics I don't really criticize too many songs like pick them apart like this but this was just very obvious oh one more thing i wanted to go back to let me play this little part okay so at the beginning of the video when she was in front of the mirror there was a little tune playing and i was like what is that tune and then it played again later in the song as well before the chorus and i don't know the age range of people watching this particular video but there was a song back in the day called angel of mine by monica and just that little piece took me back it took me back to the 90s so let me know if you guys hear it too right here but I hope that you stay <laughs> okay so now let's play angel of mine right here angel of mine. it's the same notes right it's the same song and again this is kind of a throwback in the video they look younger so I'm, I'm assuming that was intentional and just a little throwback to maybe what they listened to when they were younger too, but I caught that right away. Let me know if you guys caught it too. Let me know what you think of this song. I hope I don't get hate <laughs> for calling out little things that didn't really make sense to me. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not touching on like the health issue stuff and the struggles or just any life struggles that anybody has. That's not my intention with this, with this video to talk about that part um like I said I think it's a very brave thing for anybody to talk about what they're going through health-wise otherwise you know so no criticism there just a little criticism of the lucky chorus lyrics paired with the rest of the song that's all okay I will end it here you guys let me know what you thought please don't be mad at me and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one bye